What's poppin' internet? Welcome to another episode of the Synced Up Filmcast, a show where we reel you into movie news and talk about the other things that we've been watching. I'm one of your hosts, Timmy the DeRoe, and joining me this week is the Poker Gerard Boy. Gerard Butler. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. I what? don't I don't know. Gerard Butler. That's who came into mind. Yeah. Of all the people? Yeah. Yeah. That guy can't explain why. Remember that time where I said, who's that old guy actor? And you nailed it. Yeah. When I was like, you know the old guy? And you're yeah. like, Christopher Walken? And I was like, yes. <laughs> Topical, actually. Yeah, because, yeah, Christopher He's Walken. In- I always, I, he's one of those actors I can't take serious in any role. Like, yeah, like, we'll get no, to, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about Severance, yeah, but later. specifically talking about Christopher Walken mm-hmm. and Severance. Yeah. It's like, like you know, you can keep it's it Christopher t- Walken. I don't like, know why, I don't know why I blended Morty in there. <laughs> Rick. <laughs> I can't do it, Morty. I'm not even going to try. I, uh, I said one know, time, I'm done. We do a podcast. Oh, here over at Seems Optics up. and Design. Yeah, sure. Yo, fuck you, Jordan. Let me hear you. Yeah, you do your Christopher Walken. That's what I thought. I thought he was taking uh-huh. a shit. He was <laughs> he was bent, he was bending down to eat something he found on the ground. But at first I was like, is he shitting? <laughs> that would have been wow. par. Anyway, of today we're gonna talk about Invincible news. Yep. We're gonna talk about Ted Lasso news, mm-hmm. and then we're gonna talk about some other stuff. Yep. Things we've been watching, and we're gonna of course rank. Where's that? Where's that? Av- up on Poppy Hill. Where's what? that Avatar watch at? Mm-hmm. Have we hit two Billy? Uh, we had to because it hit one point nine like a week ago. So. Yeah, you would think it's so two, two bill, two bill for sure. We could sure, go. Sure. Anyway, let's get let's get right into it. So first and foremost, we got to see some Invincible season three, season two. Sorry, we didn't get to see. Well, it's like it's a teaser. It said here, people were posting. Here's a clip from Invincible season two. No, no, that's definitely a made teaser. Yeah, it's made just to like kind of announce like, hey, we got this coming. Yeah, and late 2023 on that. Damn, I'm not shocked. At least it's this year. I know it just hurts, bro. It's, it's yeah, especially because so everything else around it moves so fast. Yeah, you get like five MCU movies. At least though, as someone who just finished Ted Lasso, that's coming spring, which is I am very, very excited, soon. bro. Hey, sure. I'm very excited. I can't wait to watch that shit. I don't want to. I'm trying to get my anything. dad to watch it. He's watching Severance. He picked that up, but okay. I, can't, I haven't got him to start Ted Lasso yet. I figured he liked Ted Lasso more than Severance. Well, he has, he just hasn't got around to trying. Mm. I love me some Ted. Lasso. No, Ted Lasso is good as fuck, boy. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We'll we'll talk about that later. Yeah. Anyway. Mm-hmm. Oh, sorry. More news, yeah. We're, we're we're not just sitting talking about. But no, the the invincible <laughs> the vin, invincible little short thing. I saw it on TikTok first uh-huh. before anybody like linked it in the chat, yeah. and I was like, uh, it felt like information I already knew. Uh-huh. So that's why I didn't share it. Mm-hmm. And then when somebody else shared, it, I was like, oh, this is actually like the the announcement. Yeah, it's, I'm talking so. about with storyboarding, drawing characters. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was fun stuff. Anyway, um, that's pretty much it for the news. Nothing really. Didn't you say there was one other thing for the news? Oh, and then Ted Lasso, yeah. Yeah, which we talked about. Damn. Yeah, yeah, news don't be happening right now. No, nah, It's dry bro. as fuck for games, news, everything. Super dry. I guess that's how January be, bro. I know. It really be ass. It do. I, I don't like it. So let's get right into our rankings. For for Studio Ghibli? Yes. Yeah. Jordan, bring them up. Damn, bro. I told you now. Is next next segment. <laughs> Move on. Motherfuckers in the peanut gallery never want to help out. You know what I mean? Excuse me? <laughs> I can smack him if you want. <laughs> Excuse no, no violence no, on air. Like Neck. Huh? Huh? I like your cut, G. I like your cut, bro. Bad. I can't get over the Hidden Valley Ranch on my peripheral. Yeah, no. Just for you guys uh, on video and audio, because it's video, you guys can't see it either. Uh, there's just some fucking ranch over a there. A bottle of ranch. <laughs> just on. No context. The fucking it's, table. It's a cup, a Clorox they bottle, that, and a bottle there's of ranch. Just Fucking ranch. It's not. It's not necessarily Jack nasty. What, what? What are you doing? No, dude, I, are you trying to no, play some? What, what? I swear to God, I swear what the see, fuck? I Why am we on JackInTheBox.com? Close that. Close, on my close mama. that shit. I'm kind of hungry though. Nah, nah. I I'm nah. Team Jack in the Box does not it's suck. It's, 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 it's Bro, we got like no more. We're almost done. We're almost done. There's one more extra number. Well, yeah, we're gonna more. have four left. Yeah, one more weeks. Okay, so we just watched from up on Poppy Hill. Do you want to rank that sh- bad boy? Let, let me get a look real quick. No, stop. No, 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 stop, 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 stop. Don't play around. Don't play around. Don't play around. I think. I think I've got it. Okay. Three, two, two one, one, seven. seven. Okay. But S tier. I agree. Okay. Yeah. Wow. I concur. See, I, I see. I going into this, I was like, Mike would like this movie because Adrian was like, she doesn't really like it. And I was like, really? I I dig this movie. Like, I dig it so much. The smooth jazz, like, the music. This, mm-hmm. honestly, 
we always talk about the music and how good it is. It might be my favorite in this one. I don't I don't think I agree with that. I but this it. is the first Ghibli movie that doesn't have any of the magic, magic and stuff like that. That I'm like, this is good. Yeah, no, it's awesome. Um, I'm loving everything with the clubhouse. Mm-hmm. It's just so the, the way I put so it. This scene, I was like, it has base building, <laughs> but it's a movie. Did no, you didn't you say that last week too? Was that what I said? Like, I don't I remember saying it. But I, I feel like remember. you definitely said that before. Yeah. Has but no, it's a movie. It's it's so good. I love seeing the evolution of the building, them cleaning it up and doing all that stuff. Obviously, the main plot mm-hmm. is like really good because mm-hmm. when that happens, mm-hmm. you you figure out what's up. Yeah. The question becomes, where the hell do we go from, we from here? here? Yeah. Where are we? What are we doing here? Exactly. And they they answer it. Yeah. And it's good. It's good. Um, I thoroughly enjoyed this movie. I it's think so it's one of the better ones. The, I love the music so much. I like every time that smooth jazz kicks up, the mm-hmm. piano beats. I found myself just fucking vibing out the whole mm-hmm. time. Anytime the like the singing song songs came in, I was like, "Fuck mm-hmm. yeah!" I just I really love the fucking all the characters music. are good. Yeah, um, I love the building. They're also funny. They're them having their debate. Mm-hmm. You you are trying to usher in a new age of democracy or whatever, and they're like screaming, and then they realize the principal's coming, so they mm-hmm. all start singing the nas- the anthem of the school or whatever, yeah. and you're like, "Oh, that's so fucking fun, dude!" It's, it's so, so good. Funny. And, um, they're just, and they're yelling, you just like the old people that are the presidents. They only care about the new. The um the bigger sister, the doctor, mm-hmm. she reminds me so much. You like the painter lady? No. No, not the painter lady. The one that the one that's got got her doctorate and, and oh, is yeah, leaving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. She's leaving. Yeah. Um uh, Mimi or something like that. Mickey mm-hmm. or something. Um she reminds me so much of another Ghibli character and yeah. I can't remember who. I'm not sure. Maybe the girl that lives in the woods, um, in Kiki's. Maybe they or kind of have the same kind of like. Or may, I thought maybe it might have been a character from. Um, yeah, only yesterday. Mm-hmm. I thought she might she might remind me of the main character from Only Yesterday. I don't yeah. know. I, I felt like I was getting deja vu every time the character spoke. Bobby Plaza in this movie too. Yep. Um, Jamie Lee Curtis in this movie. Who's Jamie Lee Curtis? Jamie Lee Curtis plays the mom. Okay. Yeah, so she's, she's only there. She's for not a in bit. it very much, but. Um, I yeah, I didn't notice that. I it's just it. it's just a very good film. Yeah, dude. Um, it's such a, and it's like. I don't know. It's just a cool little thing where you're like, oh, it's just about these students trying mm-hmm. to save their fucking building. Yeah. And that's, that's just And cool. there's a lot of good, like, The president guy's so funny. He's like, that. you know, we, the school's in need of a new building. Mm-hmm. So I got to find somewhere mm-hmm. else to, to put, put it. it. <laughs> and you're like, yeah. Uh, it costs a fiver. I had a tenner. <laughs> Same energy. It's yeah. very good. I, I was very, uh, very uh, happy with yeah, this film. I'm glad you enjoyed it as much as I do. It's one of my favorites. I really do like it a lot. Mm-hmm. Like, I... Like and on a, a personal favorite list, it's it resides up in that in that top five. I was I was definitely expecting way more trauma. Mm-hmm. Bless you, Ace. Mm-hmm. Um, because, you know, I'm worried about. Keep talking. Yeah, the the what do you I don't know what you call it. The little um, what do you call it? When you go to click on a movie, and it gives you a little excerpt, a little 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 read thing. Description. Description. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. The description of the film was like two kids post World War Two. Yeah. Um. Develop a budding romance, but yeah. then trauma tears them apart. <laughs> uh, and I was just like, "Oh, oh, this is gonna be real serious." And it was very lighthearted, so uh, I was very happy with it. Very good. Yeah. Anyway, there you go. There's ranking. What's what's next? Is it when the morning was here? The wind rises. Oh, the wind rises. Okay, okay. This is the next one. This one's all about planes, planes, trains, and automobiles. Planes, trains, and automobiles. No, just planes. Locomotives. This one's more of a personal story because um, Miyazaki wanted originally wanted to make planes. That was his whole dream. And so this movie is about a guy who designs planes for mm-hmm. war and dealing with the – he loves it as an artistic art form to further humanity and dealing mm-hmm. with the fact that he has to make weapons. So, yeah. Yeah. This one's, this one's also very, very good. Don't hit. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. I'm down. Yes, sir. I'm down. I've been loving these movies. Yep. This has definitely been my favorite rewatch. Yeah. It's great. Because right. uh, it's not rewatch. It's for me. It's just new Yeah, films. it's all new jazz. Mm-hmm. Love it. Anyway. That's it for the movie. Before we get into the other stuff we've been watching, if you enjoy this show, you should consider supporting us on Patreon at patreon.com slash synced up, where for $1, you can get access mm-hmm. to our lovely Discord, or for $5, you can get access to that Discord and the post shows of all the shows that we do, and many more goodies, all from youtube.com slash synced up podcast and podcasting services around the, the globe. globe. New episodes of this show specifically go up in all of those feeds, Mondays, 7 a.m. Central, Central Time Zone. Zone. Gang. Gang. Mm. Delicious. Delish. Very. Also, what have we been watching? Finish Severance. You did, yeah. You started and finished Severance. I will. I my my feelings on this. Sure. Episode one through seven. Mm-hmm. This is just an all right show. You're gay. I got. It's not bad. It's good. No, dude. But like, it's not. It's not. You're not doing Please. anything for me. You're sure. not. You know. I'm not like. Oh my gosh. Like. No, I wasn't. Like. No, no, no. Last of Us. I'm in. 
Yeah. Episode one. Like, you got me. Yeah. Episode one and seven. So I'm like, well, Tim said the ends real good. So I'm going to keep going. <laughs> Damn. Like, I, I didn't hate it. It was just like. Uh, you weren't like intrigued? You didn't have the intrigue of like, I want to know what's going on. No? Damn. Because the crazy. The, the buy-in That's is cool. just like. Cool, dude. Like, there's not. Uh, the secret stuff is all like, what is like. Like, what's actually what's happening. really happening. Yeah. And you don't really get to that kind of questions until no. later. You still don't even get the answers. Do you? you don't. You don't get answers. Yeah. But like. You when you get, said like, please tell me you get answers. I just said, keep watching. But in my head, I was like. You don't get none. I hope <laughs> you know, still like this shit. The answers don't come. But at the end of episode eight, I think it's an, I was like, yeah, that's what this is. Let's a see what, that's what's hap- what's for dinner is the name of that episode. Yeah, and he said, let's see what's for dinner, and he gets in the elevator and it's like about to go. Or is that or is episode seven with the photo? Um, and that's eight. The is photo eight well? and then let's see what for dinner and all that stuff is episode eight. Yeah, that's, that's where you, you get that reveal oh, of like. My God. Oh, there's like actually something really deeper going yeah, on. Yeah, you start like, oh my god, and then them coming up with the plan of what to do. You're like, oh shit's about to go down. It and is I just, very good. I just can't wait to see like when everyone wakes back up and like what happens there. And you're like, oh mm-hmm. wait, what are these people gonna do when that happens? And yeah, yeah, I'm very interested now. Yeah, I was because worried about because I, I, skip four thirty seconds for spoilers. When they did the little foreshadow where he's like, oh, what if you wake up and you're driving and you crash? I thought they were going to wake back up and Irv was going to crash. Mm-hmm. That's what I thought was going to happen. But that didn't happen. But I was worried about it. I, I don't think I was worried about that. Because they, they just, well, they made like a kind of like yeah, a foreshadow. Yeah. I was just, I, I had a I had some problems with Irv's line and at the end of it. Um, Irv's what? Irv's whole adventure at the end. Like what, Yeah. It just felt like. His character's obviously real. got something weird yeah, going yeah. on. Um, but it was like every character had like crazy stuff happening, like a, and then Irv important. was just driving. Yeah, I think Irv might it might be revealed as important later. It will. Yeah, but I'm just saying at this moment it was like, yeah, I don't care about this. Yeah, that that last episode gas man. Um, very good. And I of am course, intrigued. We watched The Last of Us. Got to see the debut episode of The Last of Us. The second episode it's dropped right now. 15 minutes ago. Yeah. yeah. Um, fuck, I I like it a lot, man. I do. As too. someone who I I love this world, I love these characters, I love this story. Mm-hmm. Of course, the thing that happens at the beginning still had me crying, even though I've seen it a million fucking times. Yep. Um, it hits just as hard, if not harder, in this in this mm-hmm. uh, medium. Uh, I I I really fucking dig it, man. And I every time, every minute, I was like, that casting is so good. Yeah. That casting is so good. And I was worried about Pedro Pascal. No. He plays Joel, l- literally, perfectly. Yeah. No, he does a great job. Bella Ramsey plays Ellie. Perfectly. Mm. All of these characters play these char- other characters so good. Tess, I was like, is that the fucking person who did the mocap? Like, it was just so good. All the voices they got mm-hmm. down. His daughter was great. I like the exposition because before in the first game, obviously, you start with things going crazy yeah. and then lead up to that plane crashing. In the show, you get 30 minutes of exposition with his daughter to get attached. And I think that's great, not only for people who have, because I think it's really great for people who haven't seen the story. To give them a more of an emotional significance with that character. Mm-hmm. Of course, they do it all from her point of view to make you think that the show is going to be about her. If you're someone who's never seen it and you know yeah. nothing, you think the show is going to be about her. And, of course, they yank that away from you. And I think that makes that much more emotionally impactful for people who haven't played the game. So that's mm-hmm. that's really, really cool. And then also for people who have played the game, there's just cool shit. The car scene is shot for shot. There's a lot of shot for shots. Yeah. It's, it's like, so good. The burning house and the people on the side of hey hey and the, the way the camera moves like the camera zoomed in on the people and they're like hey we got a kid and the dude runs out at the exact interval that he's supposed to like I went mm-hmm. back and compared it it's a fucking identical and he's like we got a kid so do we keep moving like the lines are the same you go past it you see all the stuff go down the person get you know he goes to go in reverse and the people start getting ate, ate behind him mm-hmm. when he goes to leave the town like it's so identical the burning building on the side of the road like it like blew my mind how. Like I think that's how you do it, bro. And but also at the same time, you introduced a lot of newer stuff that was really nice and really mm-hmm. good that I I liked. You know, originally the episode was supposed to end with Joel throwing that body in the fire. Yeah, and that's where it was originally supposed to end. But the executive said they didn't want to start an ep and end an ep with that with, yeah. with child death, and so they were like, maybe we should extend it. So that's yeah, why the episode on. is extra long on that first one. That makes sense. Yeah, um, you cover a lot in that episode. Um, Marlene. Is the game? It's actor. the same. Yeah, yes, I did see that. Mm-hmm. Marlene's the exact same. Um, I don't even remember what I was gonna say. It's really good. It's I think great. Kylie's interested. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, Adrian was interested for sure. I like using the main theme. Just using it mm-hmm. that felt good. What was I thinking? I had a thought. I can't wait to see what Troy and Ashley because they have characters. They're yeah. minor characters, but they're supposed to show up. Do you think how far? How far do you think we'll get in season one? It, the consensus seems to be from interviews and stuff that season one is game one. 
Really? Yes. I think that's crazy. Yeah. No, that I think it. I it fits. I think you could do it. Yeah. I'm just shocked they're not extending it. Yeah. The current theory just trying is to fill stuff. Season one, game one. Season two, half a game two. Season because game two is much longer than game one. Yeah. And season three, other half a game three. Because you could or do a, you could do a lot in between. Um, dude, these uh, <laughs> I after after watching this episode, mm-hmm. I could not survive in that world. No. As soon as you see that first zombie start chasing him, yeah, that dude yeah. was getting his money, yeah, he getting was. his paycheck. Yeah, he was. Yeah, he, he was. He, he, he was he, launching. Yeah, he was putting in the work. Yeah, I would have. I would have been like, you know what? Effort. When he's like laying there and he goes, <laughs> and I was like, that's fucking creepy. He like set up. I was mm-hmm. like, they. I don't know what they did on the editing there, but that shit was creepy. It is so good. It is. It is very like. Oh, yeah. Oh. I'm excited to see like the human conflict we get into. Like now that they've left the city, that's like when the real shit starts to happen, and mm-hmm. I'm, I'm really excited for that. Yeah. It's gonna be really good. Mm-hmm. I, I have high hopes for this so show. So do I. So do I. Could be one of the best of the year. Yeah, I agree. That's all I've been watching. Well, let me check and see if good there's sure. any read mail. I, I don't think do I don't think I've watched anything else. I watch. I've been watching a lot of YouTube, trying to catch up on my um. um yeah, I've been on my YouTube grind. My, my watch later, I'm trying to clear it, and it's it's fucking. It's not working. Deep in it. Video game, Pokemon ability. Yeah, those are video game, video game ones. Short show, you know. There you go. Uh, Jordan got to talk about something. Jay's got Jay's got comments. Hey, you got comments. Uh, welcome. It'll be to quick Jordan's though. I won't waste quarter. you guys' time. Um, been Jordan's watching. Quarter. Been watching Velma. Uh huh. Don't. And that's all. Dumped. That movie. That show is atrocious. You started and dropped it. No. Well, okay. Noah watched it, and yeah. so I immediately was like, "I'll yeah. watch it to support." Right. Because it's Scooby Doo. Scooby Doo. Yeah. And the show is just bad. Okay. And like it is the worst ranked show of all time. It's below the Dragon Ball Z show. Yeah, it's, it's pre- that's pretty bad. Yeah. It's terrible. It's god awful. It's they drown in their own comedy of trying to drown in their own comedy. Mm-hmm. Like it's like let me just explain. This is like a, like a, like a prediction that's supposed to be happening. Okay. They're pretty sure Scooby Doo, the dog, mm-hmm. Scooby, sure. the main character, yeah, is a black woman mm-hmm. who's a love interest for Shaggy. Oh, not actually a dog. Yeah, no, he's, he's just not in the show. Scooby's mm-hmm. not in the show at all. That's lame. Except as a, a, a black woman for Shaggy to fuck. That's weird, dude. That's that not okay. Way. It's not funny. Yeah, that's weird. Yeah. Um, they they try to take the you trope. Wrote it? Mindy Killing? Yeah. yeah. People have been saying that they're tired of Mindy Killing. Because everything no, she writes is fucking... Colin? Kaling? It's Mindy Kaling or something like that. It's All of her shit's the same. Yeah. Like It's like all the same shit. They take Velma, who is probably... like Like in the originals, is like the intelligent... Confident, like self assured, like the the smart one. Yeah, of course. They make her the like a one. selfish, immature, judgmental teenager. Yeah, mm-hmm. and like, not in like a like a funny way. Like that, like it's just she's just a bitch sometimes. Yeah. Um, Daphne is that's the nice. hot popular girl. That's fine. Well, that's normal. She's a drug dealer. Oh. Um, Weird. Fred, which is like himbo Chad Giga Chad, mm-hmm. is a insecure, hasn't hit puberty yet, small dicked. Pretty boy, that is I, a I huge. Like, that is a like, huge plot point. I feel like what's wrong here is they're trying to take the Riverdale effect mm-hmm. on a franchise that n- nobody no, in that yeah. franchise wants, wants the Riverdale yeah. effect. Yeah. No, 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 like, like they just want mystery. Spoilers. Bro. Yeah, sure. I guess there's an entire segment of mm-hmm. Velma's dad being he's a lawyer married to a cafe owner, or whatever mm-hmm. that lets teenagers have sex in the bathroom. That's a plot point. Okay, weird. Um, Strange. and at Fred's trial, they dress him up. as like, you know, you remember that really dumb, stupid trope of like the little kid with the lollipop. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They, he gets accused of the murders that are happening. Cause like, there's like actual murders. The person, the mystery is someone is killing hot girls mm-hmm. and scooping out their brains. Okay. Weird. Which is a real thing. Right. Whatever. Um, and then Fred gets accused. So when they go to court, they dress him up like that, give him a lollipop, and then they, they defend that he's so childish he could never kill anybody. He hasn't <laughs> even hit puberty yet. What the fuck? I swear to God. That's weird. It's just, it's not funny. It's yeah, not good. I've seen, I've seen a lot of people that. being like, somebody, so, yeah, comparing it to Harley Quinn and like why Harley Quinn works and this doesn't. Harley Quinn is great. Harley, the, and I still gotta watch these. Me and Noah have had that conversation. Like, Harley Quinn is fucking great That's a it's hilarious show. it's because they do the jokes one the jokes are just funny uh-huh. but two they also the the characters that they're selling this comedy from it's in character yeah like harley her jokes are kind of like off the wall mm-hmm. but it's hardly fucking quitting mm-hmm. it makes sense daphne's not a drug dealer yeah that's weird and then like like shaggy might be the best character in the show only because he's like the only somewhat normal one yeah like he's a but they do make it a huge plot point to be like, 
like I I where they're looking for drugs, which I hate. Mm-hmm. Which is like it's kind of a good fun. And then later, he goes on this whole. He's like in love with Velma. She's not in love with him. She like uses him all the time. He goes on this big long journey to find something she needs. Ends up getting jumped by an actual criminal, mm-hmm. and then he gets saved by a bunch of stoners who watch mm-hmm. his food eating live streams. And they're like, oh, the, they're like, you're the guy. And he's like, oh man, stoners watch my show. And it's like, you run a food channel. Like, no. come on. Like, it's, yeah, but he, he's the best character. And that's saying a lot because that shit sucks. Mm. So don't watch it. I was okay. really hyped for this. And it's probably the worst show I've seen adapted ever. Damn. And that that's it. was Jordan's Corner. I just wanted to shit on Velma on a platform. Jordan's Corner. And then in Spencer's Corner, he hates Avatar. Yeah, so that's where we're at. Yeah, that is the dumbest. Dumb Spencer, we love you. Jesus. Bro, have better movie takes. Here, bro. I don't know what to tell you, bro. Skedaddle. Love you, love. Skedaddle, Plot skedaddle. Plot did suck, but sure, whatever. Maybe just look good. I liked it. Anyway, that's it. Thank you for watching and listening to this episode of the Synced Up Filmcast. We will catch you guys tomorrow when we do the podcast. We do some podcast stuff. There's actually actually video game games. games. Yeah, there's actually gaming news, so that's yeah. nice. Um, uh, yeah, but that's also we're about to do the post show for people who support at patreoncom synced up at the five dollar tier. So for those of you that do that, we'll see you in a few minutes. Everybody else, no fuck off. Just kidding. We love you. We love you. We love you. We love you. Bye. Goodbye, everyone.